Hey mates, today I wanted to talk to you about three Ps. Three Ps that I think are absolutely pivotal um, in the business world and in the, uh, in the psychological world, in the personal world. These three Ps are a concoction of a lot of the stuff that I've been studying in psychology, and I really feel that they perfectly summarize the nature of a human being in terms of what human beings need to feel okay, to feel fulfilled, to feel mentally stable, to feel like they have a purpose, to feel like they have an authentic nature about themselves, to feel assertive. I, re I truly honestly believe that it just comprises the essential uh, constituent elements of, 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 uh, of human nature. So the three Ps are place, number one. Number two is practicality. And then number three is progress. So we'll have a look at the first one. So, so place. Place is representative of a desired future, a destination. We all need to feel like our life has purpose and that our life has value. In other words, that there is meaning in our lives. And I think that the best way that we can find that is to picture what our life would be like if it was better, if it was perfect, if it was the best possible version of, of, of our lives. And obviously, if we were living that life, we would be the best version of ourselves. So we need a desired future. We need a place or a destination that we're going to, a, uh, a place that we're heading towards. By definition, when you have a place, you have a purpose because now there's a reason to get out of bed every morning. I have a reason to write a thousand words because eventually my place is going to be the world in which I have written a book. So you, the best way to find purpose in your life is to envision a destination or a place. Now, obviously place isn't necessarily physical. It can also be psychological and physiological. So it can be the place, the desired future is going to be when I'm 20 kilos lighter. Psychologically, it can be when I no longer have intrusive thoughts, when my anxiety levels are, you know, subjectively speaking, from an eight down to a two. So a destination is absolutely pivotal. Otherwise, we'll have no purpose and we'll suffer existentially. Number two is practicality. In order to get to our place to our desired future, we need to know what we're going to be doing along the way. So like I said before, with that very simple analogy of writing a book, if the goal is to write a book, that's excellent, that's somewhat specific, but it's a little bit ambiguous, so we need to have a think about different sorts of things. What kind of book is it going to be? Is it going to be fictional? Is it going to be non-fictional? Is it going to be a big book or a small book? And then more specifically, how many words roughly, obviously these things change, but how many words roughly is it now? Let's just say you wanted to write a book that was 100,000 words long. So it's very simple, you just divide up obviously 100,000 words in between now and when you'd like to have the book finalized. And you can apply that methodology, that reverse engineering methodology of goal setting to everything in your life. If you put these practical measurements into your life and you reverse engineer the goal down to what you have to do every day, you will be able to turn dreams into attainable goals. We can see the steps we have to take in order to make them attainable, in order to reach them. Finally, the third P that is absolutely necessary in terms of being fulfilled as a human being is progress. People talk in spiritual terms about finding flow, uh, finding your lane, you know, all of these lovely topics that I believe probably could use a bit of practicality or tangibility to them. It all comes down to progress. If you study psychology, you have a look at different types of neurotransmitters and hormones and things that, 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 that move through the body and start in the brain, neurotransmitters, uh, in response to the way we see the world and the environment that we're uh, surrounded by. And dopamine is that neurotransmitter and that hormone that's responsible for incentive reward. In other words, it's saying, come this way, there is a reward over here. And it makes us feel good because it makes us, even for that moment, temporarily and implicitly feel like we have purpose because it's 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 essentially goal-directed behavior that's what dopamine is responsible for and people often mix this up people think that dopamine is inherently bad because it's just to do with the pleasure cycle and obviously serotonin therefore is really good because serotonin is happiness right 
it's kind of the wrong way of looking at it. And it's a very simplistic ideological way of looking at it because we wouldn't have evolved and got to 2020 if, if, if that's all they were responsible for. In other words, it's just too easy. So dopamine gives you that come this way, you're on a mission, you're, on the, you're doing well, you're, you're on the right thing, you're getting hot here, okay? We need to give ourselves something. So we've done that with place, we've got the practicality, and when we're seeing progress, in other words, when we're achieving our micro goals, where we can recognize that what we're doing is getting us closer to the big goal, uh, the example before was writing a book, we are going to feel fulfilled. We're going to feel the dopamine swirling through the body because we are seeing progress, the incentive reward, the things that we're doing are getting us closer to the reward. I spoke about serotonin just before. Serotonin is responsible for, it's a consumatory uh, feeling, it's satiation, it's a, it's a temporary state of bliss. It is happiness because happiness is transient. That's why what you don't want to seek in life is happiness because you'll always need more happiness. It's a temporary feeling. It's like a glass of water when you're thirsty um, or a big massive chicken parmigiana when you're starving. What you want in life is that constant state of progress which implies, therefore, that you need to be striving towards achieving a very, very big goal. And you can do that. Human beings dedicate their lives towards one thing. Just Martin Luther King, for one example, right? Elon Musk as another. These huge, huge goals. Whether they know it or not, the greatest human beings in the world speak about, they have this goal in mind, but they don't even care if they attain it or not, you know? In other words, the, the process is, is what gives their life meaning. And, and that is neurochemically correct. Dopamine gives you that feeling so long as you are seeing progress in any goal that you're trying to achieve. So I really hope that helps. And just to, just to summarize again, guys, the three Ps in life, place, practicality, and progress. Cheers.